this water when we take a drink. Every sip, every puddle, every drop of water in every ocean is billions of years old. And it may have traveled millions of kilometers to reach us, carried inside a meteor. The Earth looks more familiar, but this is still a dangerous place. This wind is as fast, perhaps faster, than the most destructive hurricane. It's a megastorm, whipped up by the planet's rapid rotation. The moon is so close to Earth that its gravity is overwhelming. It creates huge tides that race across the planet's surface. Over time, the moon moves away. The waves calm, and the planet spins slower. Seven hundred million years after the planet's birth, life-giving water covers its surface. But not just water. There's something else down there. Tiny islands. They seem to have appeared from nowhere. Until molten rock bursts through the Earth's crust and rises up through the ocean. Over time, the lava cools and forms a volcanic island. This is how these islands formed. In the future, they will join together to form the first continents. The infant Earth has water and land. It's beginning to look like the planet we call home. But the atmosphere is toxic, and the temperature is scorching. Nothing could live here. Meteors. They've been raining down since the planet's formation. But now, 3.8 billion years ago, the assault has entered a violent new phase. Something has disturbed the orbits of these meteorites. They already brought water to the planet, but they're carrying something else too. As the meteorites dissolve, they release their minerals and transport carbon and primitive proteins, amino acids. From outer space to the bottom of the ocean, it's dark. The sun's rays can't reach beyond 300 meters, and it's close to freezing. This must be a mirage. A city of underwater chimneys. It's not smoke. It's some kind of hot liquid. Seawater has seeped down into the earth through cracks in the crust, getting hotter, collecting minerals and gases on the way. 
It's this potent mixture that's spewing back out into the ocean, building these towers. Add to this all those minerals and chemicals from the meteorites, and the water has become a chemical soup. It's impossible to know how or when, but somehow these chemicals have come together to create life. The water is now full of microscopic organisms. These single-celled bacteria are the earliest forms of life on Earth. This is a defining moment in the making of the planet. Microscopic life is underway. To find more complex life, we need to travel forwards through time to 3.5 billion years ago and a shallow ocean. These look like rocks, or even plants. They seem to grow out of the seabed. Each is a mountain of living bacteria, a colony called a stromatolite. As if by magic, these bacteria turn sunlight into food. This process called photosynthesis uses the power of sunlight to transform carbon dioxide and water into glucose, a simple form of sugar, and similar to the stuff we put in our coffee. And this magical transformation releases a byproduct, a gas called oxygen. Underwater, the stromatolites slowly fill the oceans with oxygen. The oxygen turns traces of iron in the water into rust. This falls to the ocean floor to form deposits of iron-rich rock. One day we'll use this mineral to build bridges, ships, and skyscrapers. Above the waves, the oxygen transforms the atmosphere. These stromatolites are creating the single most important element for life on Earth. Without them, virtually every living thing wouldn't exist. When we take our next breath, we're doing it thanks to these colonies of ancient bacteria. Over the next two billion years, oxygen levels continue to rise. And as the planet's spin slows, the days get longer. Now they last at least 16 hours. We're discovering it takes a long time to make a planet. 1.5 billion years ago, three billion years after the planet's birth, and there's no complex life. No plants, no dinosaurs, no humans. But the Earth has something that no other planet has. A force with the power to change everything. Our planet. A beautiful blue ball dotted with volcanic islands. One and a half billion years ago, it's home to primitive life.
over 